Okay, uh, this video will be about uh, tool teeth and oscillators. I am uh, a new buy on this, uh, but I think that many people are trying to create tool teeth oscillators and this kind of things to light LEDs with uh, dead batteries or maybe uh, crystal cells. I have one crystal cell here made of alum and lead uh, that is blinking an LED for a very long time that blinking one there the battery is depleted it's running with less than half half a volt and uh, that guy that is blinking is my first version of the Cyclop. Here is the second version of the Cyclop. Uh, this is just a, a, an oscillator. The other one there, that two lights, that guy is a tool thief. This guy here is a jewel teeth, this Wally. And this guy here is an air coil oscillator. It's the Cyclops. As you can see, uh, the voltage on the battery it's uh, less than half a volt. Now oh, it's much less and it's still blinking. Well, I just want to share this uh, for everyone that wants to build these oscillators to light up LEDs with very, very low voltage. Everybody is familiar with this. Nowadays is a jewel teeth. Uh, it's a, a toroid winding as a jewel teeth. Uh, I have a few here, a very small one. Uh, here is a bigger one. But uh, after a while making this things and windings and everything I came up with this this is an easy way for you to create your jewel teeth to light up LEDs yeah, this is made from a network cable just cut a network cable uh, a considerable size maybe a meter something like that uh, get just one pair one pair of, of the cable and wind it there is no need to to put a toroid or to wind one cable on one side and the other cable on the other side. I discovered that you just make it round. You have to find uh, the beginning and the end of the the cables. 
put them together and you can have a, a jewel teeth very easy if you don't have a toroid. There is no need to, to have a toroid. But the circuit inside is a little bit different. Uh, you can watch lead motors, penny circuit. The only difference in here is the coil. Uh, I did not use uh, winding from one side and then putting the coils on the opposite windings. Uh, the first version of, of the Cyclop I made this way. Then I tested this way. I just got a piece of cable, make it round, made it round, and here it is. Uh, you can control how, may, how much current it gets by, by the resistors on the base. Uh, you can use depleted batteries, any one. This is a rechargeable one and it's a smooth charge. This is a depleted battery and As you can see, it works too. So, there is no need to have uh, a toroid to create a jewel teeth. I hope this helps uh, people like, like me that one day saw someone with a jewel teeth and said, I want to have one too. <laughs> so, this is the tip. You can use a single cable, piece of network cable, just make it round, find the right places, and you can have a, a jewel teeth and uh, the circuit inside is a little bit different from a circuit of a jewel teeth. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.